Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at how to rotate iPhone footage in Final Cut Pro 10 the easiest way possible. Trust me, this is a great tip. But if you're new here, a subscribe and like are always welcome. Right, okay, let's get straight into it. Here we have some iPhone footage of the Statue of Liberty. Okay, it's not the real Statue of Liberty, it's one that my daughter made out of Lego and it's pretty cool. But as you can see, it's in the wrong format because we've all done it. We've shot with an iPhone and when it comes in, it thinks it's vertical or portrait or you've had the camera twisted upside down or whatever and it doesn't work. Now, what is the easiest way to get this to look correctly in Final Cut Pro 10? And it's not going to the inspector. And this is what makes this tip so great. Just watch this. Go to the clip in the browser, right click, reveal in Finder. Here's the clip in the Finder. Now there are a few ways of doing this. I can go to the icon view and here we can see uh, the Statue of Liberty lying down, obviously incorrect. Uh, if I click on it and hit the space bar, we get quick look. I'm just gonna stop that so it doesn't play. And here's where it gets interesting. We have this rotate button. Now it works doing that, but I'm not gonna do that. So I hit the space bar again. I'm gonna show you in this mode, which I prefer because it doesn't start the thing playing. Um, and here we have the same button, rotate left. Now watch the video in the finder window and more importantly, in the browser. If I go rotate left, there's no rotate right button, unfortunately. It's upside down now, but if I go over to Final Cut, it's rotated it. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, let's do the same again. Rotate, rotate, and then go back to Final Cut has a bit of a think about it so let's just append that onto the timeline and as you can see it's the right way up by just clicking in the finder so there's no need to open the inspector uh, there's no need to open clip because you put a 90 degree um, angle on it and it all gets confusing when you want to move things up and down this is actually works spot on pixel accurate and it's just a couple of clicks so there you go, possibly our quickest and maybe our most useful tutorial that we've ever made. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it saves a load of time. As always, if you've enjoyed this, a like and subscribe are welcome. Also, please check out our free plugins and our commercial ones. We've got quite a lot going these days. Um, so I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.